Worthy Village is a nonprofit organization. We build pathways out of poverty for women and children of Guatemala by bringing healthcare initiatives and education, dental hygiene, hand washing, transmission of diseases and how to prevent them, healthy eating habits. I traveled to Guatemala in 2013. I met women who walked four hours a day just to get water for their family that wasn't even clean. I saw children who were born so premature, it was horrifying to see. You know, no medical care. I couldn't walk away from that and act like I didn't see it. We partner with artisans all around Guatemala. These women have been crafting gorgeous products for years and they don't have the opportunity to sell to tourists. We buy handmade products such as purses, hammocks, ponchos, and many other handcrafted items. We buy them at a reasonable price from these individual artisan women. We sell the product to bring in a profit to start new projects. Our main focus is to help the children practice health and well-being. We try to simplify those in a more playful manner and target our educational efforts towards the age groups. You know, if we're teaching fifth graders, it's going to be a little different than teaching kindergartners, and we do have a teacher on board with us, so she's been very helpful. And, in terms of teaching us how to teach. I love the feeling of seeing different schools and different ways that schools are set up and uh, organized and how kids are acting in different schools. It's a really great learning experience to bring back to educators. 75 to 80 percent of children in rural indigenous areas are malnourished. Chances of developing chronic diseases like diabetes, metabolic disorders, cardiovascular disorders, increased rates of maternal morbidity and mortality, chronic anemia, all these things are much, much more likely when you hit your 30s and your 40s. And in a context like Guatemala, where people live in extreme poverty with limited access to health care, these diseases often go untreated and affect not only the health of the individual but of the family and the community. And we all roll in with our suitcases and we assess the scene and set up our intake where the families introduce themselves and their ages and they get in line and wait to be seen by a nurse. The nurse then screens the family, what we call triage. You assess the patient, the family members, ask why they're there and do a quick assessment. What are their needs? What are, where are their education deficits? What type of resources does this family need? And then from there we use the doctor who we brought along with us, the supplies that we have, and what knowledge we have brought from the United States. Their ailments make sense. This population due to where they're living, who they eat, their education level. Generalized pain, weakness, a lot of coughs, gastritis, being some seizure complaints, hernias, it was good to know that we could come in here, bring in supplies, and help. Or give out toothpaste and toothbrushes, help prevent dental issues. And starting with young kids and going all the way up through adults, hoping that everybody can learn something from it and, and remember it and use it. The basic information is there, but it's really reinforcing all of this and making sure that they continue. We really want to make sure that they absorb the information and continue to use it for the rest of their lives. People here are just so grateful for the little things that they have. Education is the most important part. We're teaching people how to take care of themselves. Our goal is for Worthy Village to grow. We want to work with projects that help the community and, and develop uh, healthy lifestyles. You can't help everyone, but you can show people this work. You can give them an experience which will drive them to want to help and want to continue to do this work, and it creates a ripple effect.